I'm here for my appointment. Hey guys, so this is my month two update after having um, a partial medial meniscectomy. So first I'm just going to talk about how I felt this month, what I've been doing, and then lastly I will cover what happened in my appointment yesterday and where things are going to be going forward. So over this last month I've still had a lot of progress week to week in how my knee feels. Um, the swelling started to go down more and more. I was able to tolerate more activity and things like that. However, I still had a lot of soreness, um, especially if I would do something higher intensity, then it would get pretty sore and I would have a lot of like cracking. So sometimes my knee would feel really stiff and then it would like crack and feel looser. So potentially that's scar tissue or things like that, but that's something else that happened. I still was icing my knee every day, a couple times a day when I got the chance, and um, using a compression sleeve when I would be up and about for a number of hours. And those things have pretty much been managing the pain. Where it hurts, sometimes it actually hurts in the front when I'm doing activity, like on that patella tendon, it will start to hurt there. But where it gets pretty sore, it tends to be on the medial joint line and around the back a little bit. So right around where that meniscus is. In terms of what I have been doing this month, I've been working out in the gym as well as doing some light technical work on the field. So I'm just going to put in a slide with a list of the type of activities I've been doing in the gym. And then one with some things I've been working on, um, like with a ball or at the field. For this past month, I was still told not to do anything too strenuous, so I was not jumping, I was not really practicing like sprinting or cutting, I was just keeping it pretty light with like jogging and some technical activity. Um, yesterday I had my follow-up appointment and she just briefly looked at my knee and said like it looked like all the swelling was down, she was happy with that, so then she sent me back to do functional testing. And I was kind of surprised by this because like I said, I hadn't jumped at all yet. And the functional testing is the same as I did for my ACL, which involves, she felt like uh, it was in a place where I could start um, doing the return to sport progression and like functional activities to get back and that I didn't need to see her again. So basically she just, she discharged me and now I will do the same thing I did after my last surgery, which is take about six weeks to incorporate all the return to sport activities and fully make it back. So that was actually really surprising information for me. I'm going to start going to my former physical therapist here and working on those return to sport activities. So I will know a little bit more on Friday after my appointment. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next update. Bye.